So, what's the best container base image to use? Well, there's plenty of choices, but if everything else is equal, I would choose something very small and with a low known vulnerability count. An excellent example of this is a chain guard static image. So some of you are probably familiar with the Google Distrolist images, and the chain guard static image is very similar. So as some background, these images all came from a quest to produce the most minimal, secure container images possible. The idea is that the less there is in a container image, it's not just easier to transfer, but it's also less complex and more secure. And this is borne out by just comparing common base images and their sizes and CVE count. For example, let's take a look at a Debian image. And we can see that's around 140 megabytes in size. We can compare that to Alpine, and Alpine's only 7.6 megabytes. And then if we look at the Google Distrolist image, that's even smaller still, at 2.45 megabytes. And the chain guard static images are roughly the same, around two or three megabytes. The reason there's two images here is the latest glibc one is Wolfie based and the latest one is Alpine based, but they're both practically uh, identical to be honest. So next, let's scan the images for CVEs. I'm gonna use Gripe in this case, which is a common scanner and it's free to use so you can recreate these results. So if we look at Debian, Debian does have some vulnerabilities And we can see Gripe thinks there's one high, three low, and 47 negligible vulnerabilities in this case. If we run on an Alpine, however, Gripe says there's no vulnerabilities. If we run it on Google Distrolist, it's the same story. And also, on the chain guard static images. There's zero vulnerabilities. So, simply by having less in an image, we have a stronger security posture because there's less attack surface. The distrolist and chain guard images take this to an extreme by not even having a shell or package manager in them. But if you don't have a shell or a package manager, how can you do anything with the image? And the answer is to use a multi-stage build. So I have an example here, the Docker file. And you can see it builds a simple Go program and copies the result into the chain guard static image. We can build this with Docker build. And we can see it works. But the best thing is, if we look at the size of the image, It's tiny, it's only 3.93 megabytes. Now, there is one final point. Some of you are probably thinking, we can actually make this even smaller by using the empty scratch image. And in this case, you'd be right. But in a lot of other cases, what you'll find is that applications require one or two things more. For example, time zone data or TLS certificates. And they often expect certain directories to be available, such as slash temp or slash Etsy or slash home. So the static image provides this and almost nothing else. For that reason, if you're using a tool chain that lets you build statically compiled binaries like Rust or Go, and you want a secure and minimal base, it's really hard to do better than the chain guard static image. Mm -hmm.